ready for the bins. I never ran to the no man, I still go, 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 go. Hello, my darlings, it's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another video. I know I look like a mad woman because I'm out here thrifting, <laughs> thrifting and digging in these Goodwill Miami outlet streets and so today we have 50 pounds from the goodwill outlet i think i have like a minute or so of shop with me and then we'll come we'll come back with what i actually did find hey let's see what's going on in here it's only one but it looks pretty substantial let's see if we can find another one So for any of you that shop the bins, you know the most difficult part is figuring out what to keep and what to, um, I don't want to say throw back, but what to keep and what, what to take and what to leave. Let's leave it at that. And so in opening up my Poshmark closet for the fall winter months, you guys know that I really enjoy fall winter weather. I lived in Chicago. I was born in London, number one, did graduate work in Chicago, lived in Chicago, lived in Dallas. I'm just a cold weather girl. And so I was trying really hard to stick with that, but there was just so much goodness as there always is. You guys know that the Miami outlets are my number one. Um, so let's get right into it. So the first piece that I got, this beautiful, beautiful hunter green um, blazer. And it's actually, it's actually double breasted. And this isn't a size 14. It's a vintage 14. And so I'm thinking that means that it would be like a 12, 14 because vintage does cut a little. Okay. I didn't do a good, jo good job of that. Um, <laughs> I didn't do a good job of that, but you guys get the, you get the zhuzh, right? There we go. Oh, hold on. You know what? That's going to bug me. That's going to bug me. Let me, let me do it right. Let me do it right. Because y'all are my people. Let me do it right. Here we go. So, hunter green. I, I'm thinking that you can layer this. So, this can, this is something that would go for like a mild winter, right? Not the negative um, wind degree chill factor type of winter, but this is definitely something that can be layered. And I'm a, I would almost say, because I have seen people who will put a blaze uh, coat on top of a blazer, because we don't typically wear coats inside, right? So that's a good one for that. This was the first item that I picked up and um, I just, I love it. And so for me, this would be a Chanel-esque moment with your pearls, your gold and your pearls. It's actually a dress. Yes, a tweed dress. This is a, it doesn't say, I want oh, it's Ogie Miami Beach. I want to say that this is probably an 810. Eh, we'll put it on the mannequin and I'll get the um, measurements. But it does have this beautiful sleeve. And so, again, look at the sleeve. I want to say this is an 8. I want to say this is a 6-8. I'm going to put it on a mannequin. But again, and I know people have asked, you know, as it relates to vintage, you know, if you find plus, like, do you find plus? Vintage is cut smaller. So even if I find a 22, it's going to be like a today's 1820. So when I find it, I definitely, definitely do carry it, but it does run small. Um, that being said, I got this beautiful, oh, the color on this is heavenly. Look at the color on that. 
And here is the sleeve. It's a winter coat. Now it does have at the bottom, like the lining on one of the sides has fallen. And so that you will definitely have to, here it is. You will definitely have to fix the hem on that if this is something that you're interested in. But beautiful blue vintage coat. Love this. Doesn't say the size. And then what else is in this bag? Oh, so this is Urban Expression. No, street level. Like new. This actually has the plastic on it. Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? Beautiful little. This is what I'm talking about. Like I went there for one thing, but I couldn't leave that at the bins, right? All right, so that's one bag. So the PS de Resistance. Actually, no, there's a, few, there's a few of those. <laughs> this is going to be a long haul, by the way. So if you need to stop and go get a snack, please do. Um, this beautiful mint, mint, mint. Look, can I say that again? Mint. And this is a size vintage 12. Faux fur. Oh, my God. I snapped this up so quick. <laughs> I want to say that this probably came from the store because this wasn't like in tussled in the stuff. It was like kind of thrown on it. Um, and it could have been that somebody could have, you know, dug it up and laid it across. But this is in such great condition. This has not been through the wear and tear of the bins. It, to me, it really seemed like someone just kind of donated it and it ended up at the bins. But it doesn't have any anywhere. <sighs> I text my husband. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Are, are we having another baby? Because I keep on seeing this cute stuff. I text my husband this. He's like, what you, I can come home right now. <laughs> He's like, what you want to do? I was like, isn't this cute? He's like, listen, I can leave work. Look at this cute little Janie and Jack. <laughs> isn't this adorable? It's a size 6 to 12. I couldn't leave it. I was like, one of my people has a baby who can put the little arms in here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, this might be my year. <laughs> Riley might get a sibling. <laughs> um, as with this, I actually posted this on Instagram and I realized when I posted it, it probably looked like it was a, an adult size. Um, but again, my husband's like, listen, you, you, you picking up a lot of little girl stuff and I am not far from the house. So <laughs> this cute little size two, um, sugar fly. Um, I got one item of clothing and it's this dress, <laughs> this beautiful, 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 beautiful vintage dress. Look at the front. Yep. Beautiful vintage dress. Oh no. Is that a stain? Oh no. I was so hyped up about all this other stuff. Oh man. I'm going to throw it in the wash. Is that a stain or an iron mark? I think, it's a, I think it's a stain. I'm going to throw it in the wash. I'm going to throw it in the wash. Um, all right, let me put that over there. And then I got these shoes. Bluebird. So, oh, was it my size? I think it was. It was a size 10. Hmm. European 41. Hmm. These might go in my closet. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> no, I picked it up for you guys. But I'm going to try it on and see what the Lord says. And then we have, last over here, because I have a bunch of stuff over here, um, this beautiful leather, which is why we go to the bins, right? For this stuff. Beautiful leather jacket. And this is a size 46. I put, by the measurements, I think it's like a 10, 12. So, yes, that's it. Okay, let me... Fold all of this, fold all of these items back up, and then we're gonna get into what's over here. And I need to put this in the wash immediately. All right, so let's go through the first bag, which is shoes. So these Zara, we already know what it is, Chanel dupes. I was not gonna leave these. They're worn, but they still got a lot of life in them. And you know what? I really wanted them. They're at 39. I was thinking about pushing my foot in them. These, I'm thinking about pushing my foot in. These are eight and a half. 
These are shoots, but they're gold. I can't resist the gold shoe. They're flat, they look comfy, light wear. You know, sometimes you just put on all black and then this, and you're good to go. So that's number two. Um, this is another pair of Tory Burch. Sorry, Amazon showed up. So this is another pair of Tory Burch that I was not going to let go to a landfill. This still has a few wares left, more than a few, as somebody would love those. These, oh, these are so cute. These are a size, I wanna say they're eight and a half, and that's the only reason why I'm not keeping them. <laughs> but again, easy, breezy, you know what I mean? Cole Hawn. Something about the detail on the calf hair. It just does have some wear there. This looks expensive. And then, let's see. That last but not least, Zara, which again, there are 39. <laughs> Drax. Okay, so I, I lied. I have two more. <laughs> I realized that I have this bag on top of some items that I was listing um, because I'm trying to get everything listed before I do these videos um, so that you are ready, so that they're ready for you. So you guys know how I feel about winter white and cream and ivory. And so that is one of the first things I'm gonna look at or look for when I'm at the bins. And so I just got this simple, beautiful, single-breasted fall or winter coat rather. And again, those who know, know. And those who don't are learning from us, <laughs> fashionistas. Because when you put this on with cream, with beige, with brown, and you have a good boot on and a good scarf, a good brown scarf, we know. Y'all are my people, so I don't have to convince you. Um, and then I found this. It says, who is it by? It says, Fer Fruit Soups. But it's just a beautiful lightweight leather blazer. The closure, is it magnetizing anymore? I don't know what kind of closure this is. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I got it thinking that one of you would know what to do. But I feel like there was something on the other side. I don't know what that is. Anyway, I'll let you guys figure it out. I would price accordingly. But um, I feel like you can just wear it open. Like it's not something that looked like it had to be closed in order to really work, so. All right, let's get over here. I think my neighbor's about to start doing his lawn or power washing. There's something happening. So um, how do I look? I feel like I look crazy in these streets. Anyway, we're about, we, we, are, we are listing today, okay? So <laughs> no glam today. I don't know where the other shoe is. I'll get to that. Um, Furla, yeah, he's power washing. Um, Furla jelly bag. These were hot probably like a decade ago, but I still see people, maybe because I'm in South Florida and that's what we do. Um, but here's a Furla jelly bag, a mini jelly bag that was hot again, I wanna say like a decade ago, but it was in the bins. And if I see something like that, I'm not gonna let, and you're gonna see that with the pieces that I find. If I, if I find something that is luxury or designer, I'm not gonna let that go to a landfill because I feel like there are people that would still rock it with a little bit of, you know, a few nicks or, you know, a few marks because we appreciate the artistry that went into it, right, into the branding. Um, that being said, I actually saw when the person, I saw somebody pick this up and throw, and throw it back and I picked it up and when I saw this, I was like, I get it. I understand why they don't want to, like, they're not going to take that on. This is not something that is like an immediate sell. But again, for me, this is something that I'm not gonna let go to a landfill because it has a broken clasp. Even if I can't fix it, I know that one of you will, so I picked it up for you guys. So it's a beautiful, and let me tell you the inside, honey. This is not, um, <laughs> this is not an outlet bag. Um, and so it's kind of unfortunate because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like if you've invested that much into this quality of a bag, because again, this is not a coach outlet bag. This is like a coach coach bag. Um, I would invest in, I wanna say it's like 20 or $30 to replace this. It's not something that I would do, um, but I mean, if you spend that much money on this bag and it does have 
some nicks there. All right, so there we go. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna let this go to a landfill over a broken clasp. I'm not gonna fix it, but again, I know that one of you would love to have that and fix it and bring it back to like a $500, or probably like $600 bag that it was. Um, all right, so here is Vera Bradley. And so I was really, in, I'm not gonna lie to you. No, this one and there's another bag, your niece, your niece was eyeing these bags when I was listing them. <laughs> she was like, hmm, mommy, I like those. This is a Vera Bradley quilted um, bag. And again, for me at least, I feel like this is a great vacation bag. It's cruise season right now. Although people think that people are traveling in for the holidays, there are people who are working for the holidays that travel in January, February. That's some retail tea in case you didn't know. Um, and so if you're one of those people that you worked over the holidays and it's like, oh, I'm going on a cruise this month, this is for you. So Vera Bradley leather, which is really, 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 really supple. Um, why have all of these? You wanna come and power wash, <laughs> power wash today. Um, okay, so this was, I just liked it because it was polka dots, Catherine Malandrino. Um, I wanna say this can be a makeup bag or it can be a, a cute little kind of wristlet, all right? Love that. And then we have, oh, so let me do this bag first and then I'll show you, I'll give you some tea on some of the other things. Um, so I got this DKNY crossbody and I found a lot of DKNY. Um, oh, there's the other pair, there's the other shoe. And um, yeah, kind of feeling it. DKNY is really kind of, I wanna say DKNY was, DKNYYC is kind of, remember it's like Kenneth Cole, DKNY. I want to say it was like Tory Burch before Tory Burch. Before Tory Burch and Kate Spade, there was DKNY. And so I got this because I love this. This feels so supple and so good. And so I felt like this would be the perfect cross button. Or don't take my wig off. <laughs> Hold on. This would be the perfect, oh. That's the danger with me because I only buy what I like and I only buy what I would wear. So every piece <laughs> that I'm showing you has potential to make its way into my closet. That being said, so the bins are on the right side. On the left side is an actual Goodwill Superstore. So after I went to the bins, got everything loaded into the car, and then I always make it over to the store just to see what they have. It's really hard to actually shop the store when you've just gone to the bins for $1.92 a pound. It's like, why would I pay that when I just paid that? Anyway, um, <laughs> I could not help but purchase some things for myself. So I got these shoots, shoes. These are a size nine and a half and these were $8. And do I need shoes? No, but I just could not leave. This is like the perfect gold. This is the perfect South Florida gold. I just, even like with this, when you're just running around, you know, dropping Riley off at of school, going to do some grocery shopping, just slide these on and you're good to go. So that's mine. I battled with this one because I really should list it. I don't need another bag, but this bag, it is so bad. What's inside here? Oh, I thought it was something else. I was like, whoa! This is a Steven by Steve Manback. Oh, the receipt fell out. Y'all. Look at this bag. Look at this bag. Look at the handle. Look at the blankety blank, blank, blank handle. Are you kidding me right now? This bag was $10 and I would pay it over again. It needs to be cleaned off on the bottom. <sighs> Let me know in the comments below. Should I list or should I keep? There are some things that when you're thrifting as a reseller, part-time or full-time, doesn't matter. There are some things that you're like, <sighs> I should release it. Look at the details. Look at the details on that. Steve Madden, you hear me? But it's the it's it's this for me. This is it right here. Let me know. Should I keep or posh? 
I'm having too many of these keep partial moments. That's why, <laughs> that's why I need to stay out of the bins. Oh, well, here's the, um, the other shoe. So this is another D again. This is my size. I feel like when I see things that are my size in the bins, it means it's for me. Not true. But um, <laughs> this is the Dion Dean shoe. Look at that. Look at that. Is that not a Florida girl shoe? Mm. And I actually would wear this with tights. I think this would be so cute with my pink tights. But I'm going to, I listed it. I've already listed it. But if it doesn't sell, it's going in my closet. I'm just letting you know right now. It's going in my closet. No lie. Another item. Whew, Jesus, take the wheel. Hold on. I am not an Hermes girl. Like I have, I have a Coke H that I got at my um, my mentor and I. We went out for her 50th birthday. She wanted to go to Hermes, so we both got Hermes uh, click clacks to um, to celebrate her 50th birthday. I wanted to do that with her, but I am not like I'm just this is just not my brand. Um, beautiful bags, beautiful beautiful bags, but that's just not my that's just not my jam. However. There are some colors that they have that you are not gonna see anywhere else. Like, they got the color game on lock. I feel like them and Ferragamo. Anyway. This Turk, this turquoise blue thing, I have never seen, I'm in these streets. You know your girl. You know your girl. I shop a lot. I'm in these streets for, you know, being a professor and having to do research and all that stuff, visual merchandising, to thrifting and reset. I am in these streets a lot. I have never seen a Turk so beautiful other than with Hermes. I always say Hermes. Other than Hermes. I want to keep this bag so bad. The only thing that's keeping me from keeping this bag is knowing that you guys want it more. I kept the Givenchy bags from you. I know that a few of you were just like, girl, if you release that bag, let me know. Because I did that to y'all last month, I'm going to posh this, okay? Because I know you want it. Because this color is amazing. This is Juicy Couture. Did I tell you that? I ain't never seen, I ain't never seen no Juicy Couture look like this. When I tell you I snatched this thing up so bad, so quick, there's the interior. I want this bag. If this bag does not sell by this weekend, okay? It's going in my closet. It's going in my closet. The only thing that may keep it on posh is that it does not have like a, I like, like with my Brandon Blackwood, like I like structured handles, like this would bug me. That would bug me, that that would bug me. But um, I've never seen, I know I'm spending too long this bag, but I want you to understand that this color I've never seen this color before. Hermes, I feel like Hermes has this color. They have this and they have this beautiful purple I've seen in an Hermes uh, uh, Birkin 25. Then I'm like, that is a nice, they, they, they got color a lot, but um, we'll put it up to this weekend. It just, look when you sit it down, it just, with a white, with a white coat. Mm. On that train, this Stone Mountain bag, you know I'm not a Stone Mountain girl, okay? I feel like Stone Mountain is what? Like Coles? I thought this, I thought this was Coach. Especially when from afar, doesn't it look like Coach? This is Stone Mountain. This is Stone Mountain, a pebbled leather bag. And um, yeah, I thought this was Coach. I, I picked it, no, it's either Coach or like Michael Kors, but from here. Let me know in the comments. What does this look like? This looks like Coach, right? I thought it was Coach. I thought it was Coach. But it is Stone Mountain. And it's... This would make me... This is when you have to pray for me, guys. Because I would be at the Miami bins every day. You hear me? There's so much... At every bin location. All of this would have went to... Well, you know, preferably somebody else would have picked this up. But... Potentially all of these because it ended up in a landfill if I didn't shop them. That's how I think about the bins. Like, 
the days that I don't go, imagine all the stuff that's going to the landfill, including these beautiful Lacoste sliders. Now, I don't know, if, for those of you who are new, welcome, by the way, if you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, my husband is not about that thrift life at all so if i find something for him like i was hoping that these were his size because he's a lacoste wearer i would have to hide it i would have to like clean it up <laughs> like lie um but i say that to say lacoste at the bed is always a good thing um these nine west block heels remind me of the gucci marmot remember i feel like they still have them on the site with the gg at least they still you know you know, your girl goes to Gucci Outlet, so I don't know what's on the site and what's not on the site. <laughs> I can't lie. Um, this I got from the bins. Beautiful. Juicy Couture. And I wasn't going to get it, but then I feel like I've seen Juicy Couture back at TJ Maxx. Which means, or Burlington or something like that. Which means it's, it's probably a thing. So I was like, okay, well, if TJ Maxx says it's okay. So I was finding so many things that I just decided to um, <laughs> fill bags with stuff. So this is actually a bag. It's a teddy bear backpack. And it is, who is it by? I have to look. Um, but it was brand new, well, tags there. Um, so I'm going to be listing the teddy bear. Inside, what do we have? We have a pair of Charlotte Olympia. Let's see if that will stay there. Charlotte Olympia cat espadrilles these are a size eight and a half and i actually just saw these on the real real so i was like oh okay charlotte olympia it was really popular a few years ago with the cat i don't know if they're so popular with the kitty cat but again i'm not gonna let anything go to a landfill and then these jimmy choo These Jimmy Choo flats. Again, I'm not gonna let them go to a landfill. I'm not gonna let $900 shoes go to a landfill. I'm just not. Even if I just get 30, 40, 50 bucks for them, like it is what it is. They're not gonna go to a landfill. That's, to me, that's a sin. Um, Tory Burch. I got a few of these Tory Burch slides. Not a few, I got like two. And they do have some wear on them. As you can see, but again, I'm not going to let Tory Burch go to a landfill. So somebody will want these and somebody will love them. That's the way I feel about it. And then I got this little purse, pour moi, I ain't going to lie to you, I could lie. Um, I just thought it was cute. Lulu Townsend. I just thought it was a cute little bag. I was like, hmm. do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. Should I list this? Let me know. <laughs> you got a lot of talking to do in the comment section today. I just, I just thought that was, I just thought it was cute. All right, so I have one more bag. Let me just throw these in here. These are listed and I have to list, list this backpack. All right, so we have one more bag. I told you guys it was a long haul, okay? <laughs> this bag, your niece, she saw me listing it, and she's like, Mommy, Mommy, can I have that for a trip to England? And I was like, if it doesn't sell, you absolutely can have this for your trip to England. So if it doesn't sell, it's going to Little Miss. But, yeah. Beautiful leather. Does have some wear. Michael, Michael Kors. Backpack. Make sure the inside. Oh, the hang tags. I like stuff like this. The hang tags and the hardware, like that's what make a bag a bag. You guys know how I feel about my Givenchy Antigona, right? So there's the interior there. And there's the interior there. So yeah, she was looking at both those bags. Both the, um, the, um, the Rare Bradley and that one. She was like, have another backpack you don't need another backpack for the rest of your life Cole Hahn oh god this feels so good Cole Hahn pebbled leather again I thought this was Michael Kors I feel like they all get them at the same factory in Italy anyway so it really <laughs> could be that really could be a Michael Kors uh placard right right there um but the leather oh gosh it's so good 
That's so, so, so good. Um, let's see what else. Oh, let me not forget this. Again, leather, I'm not letting it go. Beautiful green. This is a vacation bag to me, I feel like. I feel like this is a vacation bag. For some reason, I see this like in Central or South America, in Tulum. Where are we cruising? <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we vacating? And then last but not least, I feel like that's all. Is there anything else? I'm looking around. <laughs> last but not least, this Tory Burch patent. wallet and i really should be keeping this because i need a new wallet with a bunch of these with all these um maverick vet cards and <laughs> but yeah so that's the last but not least that was like a 30 minute bona fide like haul right got a lot of stuff got a lot of listing to do of course i'm gonna put my poshmark address or poshmark link to my posh in the description box um let me know because there's some bags here that i'm just like keep her posh keep her posh keep her posh all right my darlings let me get listing because i know you guys get angry with me like girl did you list it yet so let me go ahead and get this stuff listed and get this hair together um and get ready for a fantabulous week i have more videos coming um being on break with riley um i was really just enjoying her for the two weeks so i actually have not i think i've been to the office once and so i will definitely be back with more fashion focused video throughout the week and i actually might be going away this weekend and so if that's the case then you know i'm definitely taking you guys with me. all right love you guys so much and um help me with this purse addiction buy everything so i don't have to keep anything to keep anything. Bye. I never ran sitting on man, I still go, go, go.